Hi, hello, I'm the Cyber Reef Guru. Thank you so much for watching. Today I am going to do a follow-up from one of my previous videos where I made a little bit of a whoopsie. <laughs> and what I mean by that is I had covered a bunch of different internet websites where you can find 3D models and pre-configured files to use with your CNC machine. And I made a little bit of an oversight and I had written down one specific website that I wanted to cover. I wanted to kind of dive into it a little bit more deeply than some of the others, and I totally forgot. I filmed the entire video, I edited it, I posted it, and after I posted it, I was like, oh, wait a minute. That, yeah, there was that. <laughs> so here we are, I am doing a quick follow-up. Hopefully it'll be quick anyway. And so I wanna dig into Vetric's website. So Vetric is a software package. They actually offer a number of different software packages to use with your CNC. And they have a wealth of information out there for CNC users. A lot of it is targeted at the beginner CNC, but there's a lot of intermediate and advanced projects out there as well, but more importantly, they have a number of areas on their website where they allow you to download files that are pre-configured for the Vetric software, but pre-configured nevertheless, that will likely increase your probability of success with your CNC. So let's go ahead, let's switch over to the computer. I will pull up the website. We'll walk through some of the cool features of the website, show you some of the projects that are out there, and then we'll wrap this one up. All right, let's cut across to the computer. All right, so here we have in front of you is the Vetric website. And so I haven't been out here in a while and it actually looks like they've changed a little bit of the website around, but nevertheless, I am gonna point you to where you can find the files. So right off the bat, lots of different stuff on their website. Again, they have a lot of different projects and a lot of different uh, products out there. So if you're looking for CAM and CAD software, you can certainly check out their entire website. But across the top here, you have this little toolbar and there's lots of, interesting things embedded in this toolbar. And you can also log into their portal, which opens up uh, some additional features that maybe uh, we can talk about here in a little bit. But right off the bat, if you're interested in the Vetric software, you can purchase or upgrade or even download a free trial. They do have a really great web page that shows the pros and cons, or should I say the differences of the different versions of the software. So that's really useful if you're trying to figure out which one is right for you. So under support here, uh, you can see that there's introduction to CNC, which is a really great set of resources, some FAQs, which are mostly about their software, but also include some CNC stuff, and then some training videos. These videos are really well done. They are really useful. Even if you're not using the Vetric software, watching some of these videos might help fill in some of the missing gaps or details maybe that you might be missing in some of your software. And so some other stuff here as well as the educational sign up and domain makerspace sign up, which I think is awesome that they support both of those. But over here on the Vetric community tab, this is where things really start to open up. And so you can see right here, free CNC projects. This is where you can go and you can download uh, free files, a uh, free design, uh, uh, things that have been done in the Vetric software designed for you, as well as some case studies, some additional training videos, and news and events, obviously. And they actually have a forum if you're looking for support or if you need help, specifically for the Vetric software. But if you have a generic sort of CNC question, I'm sure if you posted it there, no one would mind too much. And interestingly enough, they actually have a gallery as well. And so it might not be a pre-configured file that you can download and use, but it is interesting to go and troll through some of the pictures, look at some things that other folks have made that you can use and you can maybe spur some ideas and just get some general ideas of where you wanna go. So let's go ahead and click on the free CNC projects here. You'll see on their webpage. Um, so it starts off with Vetric files that they uh, have called and curated themselves from uh, their internal resources. They have the project of the month, which I think is pretty cool, highlighting other makers. That's really useful. And then you have free projects from their partners. So a lot of really useful information here. So let's go ahead and click on the free projects from our partners. Now these are also curated by Vetric. So uh, I have a little higher degree of hope that these projects 
projects are going to be uh, more executable and more likely to lead success than some of the other ones. But there's a lot of interesting things here. Uh, so there's uh, dust shoes, uh, guitars, tables, uh, very what I consider relatively complicated checkerboard, which is really cool if you check it out. Uh, a salt box, which I personally made these with my CNC. They're good to use. And you can see they range in the complexity. The salt box is, um, it's, it's not terribly complex. It's a, a handful of cuts. Uh, but then you can get into something like this, which is this uh, Aztec calendar, which is a tremendous amount of V cutting. So it's a little bit more advanced than maybe something as simple as a uh, 2D or 2.5D cutting. And you can see here, there's two pages of things that they've curated here for, uh, for their users. So I think that's really good. Now back over on the Vetrix Lab CNC projects here, also curated projects. They actually have these categorized a uh, very similar to what they've done on the easel and vetables website uh, categorized by different areas so different coasters uh, the bird box uh, challenges has a lot of interesting um, uh, bird feeders as well as uh, bird houses if you're interested in that uh, uh, scrapbook covers which i think is kind of cool uh, not a lot of people uh, doing that i haven't seen that before and some puzzles and some other things and some uh, you know uh, sort of uh, holiday oriented things you'll see things for halloween you'll see things for christmas as well and so uh, there's a lot of different projects here uh, so if you go all the way to page six uh, there's there's a lot of different things that you can dive into here so the next area that I would like to highlight is just the project of the month, which is right in the middle of the web page here. So it highlights the most recent project of the month, which happens to be this fresh spring clock. But there's a lot of projects here that I think are really interesting. So this this little strawberry, uh, sort of they call it a dipped strawberry dish, is really cool. This crayon wall box I thought was really interesting. Uh, it's relatively easy to do uh, from a cutting perspective, but uh, it's, it's really cool cool once you get it all sort of colored and painted or whatever and so just a lot of really interesting thing this moose rack I thought this was really uh, really cool uh, not a, not very complicated a bunch of different cuts um, that you can make out of different woods but when you put it together it just really makes an amazing product uh, you can give or you can sell I'm sure so what is interesting I've downloaded a couple of these and when you download them here let me open up the file here and show you it comes as a zip file uh, but you get a picture of the project that you're looking for so in this case I downloaded this uh, welcome to our home sign which is fairly straightforward not a lot of V carving uh, but it has the interchangeable signs in the middle so the O in home can be a heart be a pumpkin or a Christmas tree um, or, or other things like this, like for Easter. And so, but it's got the two files that are be used with the Vetrix software. It does the base and the inlay. So you, it's pre-configured as long as you're using the same sort of wood and your machine can support the parameters that are in the file. Literally all you have to do is generate the tool path and you click go. I think that's really cool. Uh, but it also, this one in particular has a PDF. It talks about the maker and she's got some really great videos Videos on her YouTube site I will link to that down below but uh, it talks uh, it gives you basically some basic instructions on how to use the file the type of bits that are used with this project so you need a uh, eighth inch end mill a quarter inch end mill and a, a 60 degree V bit so that's really cool so you can download these look at the parameters and if you have the right end mills if you have the right sort of machine you can just get cutting right away and this is super easy so it's a little step above maybe what I would say what Easel offers. Now Evil, Easel doesn't have it all online. Uh, you can kind of see all this, but it's kind of spread out. So having this PDF, I mean, it's a lot of extra work. Trust me, I've done this before. It's a lot of extra work, but having the PDF is really a step above and really offers that uh, kind of next level sort of helper tool set for people who are trying to do CNC work. And so I just think that that's really neat and that's interesting. And so there aren't as many curated projects here as maybe some of the other websites but you can see here there's seven pages of things that you can get after here that have these kind of detailed instructions and a lot of them are really easy to do some of them are more advanced like this uh, 3d inlay carve here 
Um, but something like a picture frame, this is really cool. And if you're looking for things to make for your family and your friends, or even if you want to sell it, something like this is really interesting and very, um, it, it, it's endearing and it's, it kind of tugs at your heartstrings a little bit uh, to give this to someone, especially if you personalize it with their pictures, whether of their children or of their parents or however you want to do it, or of a long lost family member, who knows? But uh, I think this is really cool. Lots of options here. So I do encourage you to go out there and check out the Vetric website. Well, that was the video. I know it was relatively short, but I definitely wanted to cover what Vetric has to offer. They really are sort of upping the game. They have increased the quality and the number of projects they have on their website over the years. When I first went out there, they had a few samples, but it wasn't nearly as well curated as it is today. And I'm really impressed with where they're heading with their website. And so the community that's been built around the software is really vibrant. If you have any questions, you ask it on the forums, uh, you can get answers right away. Way. Their support is usually pretty good as well. I have a little bit of experience with it, not a lot, so I don't want to say that they're really amazing or not so amazing based on my experience. But the only downside, again, of their software for me personally is it only runs on Windows, so I do have to bust out that virtual machine if I want to use the Vetric software, which is a super bummer because... I just simply don't use Windows. And so I wish they had a cross-platform version. It works okay in some of the uh, emulation software. It works fine in a virtual machine, as near as I can tell. It's just slower than it would be natively on Windows. But other than that, it's an amazing piece of software. It, if you really want to get into V-carving, uh, I really do think Vetric is the way to go. Uh, Carve Echo or Carve Co um, is another piece of software. I have not really had a chance to use it very much. Um, it is a little bit more expensive, and I don't know if they offer a free trial or not, uh, but it is a subscription. I don't think that uh, Vetric is a subscription used by the software and potentially pay for upgrades. But other than that, I highly recommend Vetric, highly recommend checking out their software. And even if you're not using the Vetric software, you can download the trial, kick the tires a little bit, and then still get access to some of their projects, even if you do need to recreate the tool pass or do some additional work on that. But nevertheless, uh, there it is, and I hope you uh, get a chance to check that out. All right, well, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you so much for getting this far. Don't forget to be inspired. And if you keep scrolling down, um, <laughs> All right.